Greetings to all learners. Myself Sharda Devri, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati, Maharashtra, welcomes you for Lecture 11, Production of Medicinal Plant Extracts under Week 3, Product Development, Value Addition and Entrepreneurship Startup Opportunities. Extraction is a very important value addition step uh, in the commercial um, market of the medicinal and aromatic plants. So, uh, before start of the extraction of the herbal material or uh, plant material, we must learn the prerequisite for the extraction of this. So, prerequisite is first it is that the plant material uh, chosen for the extraction should be identified from the competent botanist or pharmacognosist to avoid the any type of the adulteration or uh, choice of the wrong species or um, toxic material then uh, if material is need to be used fresh then it should be cut into the proper size so that fit into the uh, various apparatuses that are designed for the according to the various methods and if it is need to be dried so according to the uh, thermolabal or thermostable nature of the plant material the choice of the drying should be uh, consider that is a shade drying or sun drying or infrared drying or tray drying, hot air drying like this. After drying, pulverization or size reduction uh, is necessary. So, uh, for uh, means coarse powder is generally preferred for the dried material uh, because the coarse powder gives the air spaces uh, to uh, for a solvent so that solvent can easily penetrate and then leach out the uh, desired chemical constituents into the specific solvent then next it is the choice of the uh, solvent the choice of the solvent depends upon the uh, desired chemical constituents for uh, desired therapeutic efficacy suppose the polar constituents are need to be extracted from that plant material like the sugars or glycosides or few alkaloids or few of the flavonoids or tannins then that time uh, water or acetonitrile uh, combination or water alcohol com combination can be utilized. If semipolar constituents like the uh, flavonoids, polyphenolic compounds, tannins or few alkaloids, uh, few of the glycosides uh, or uh, other type of the constituents, phytochemicals, then the semipolar uh, solvents like the alcohols uh, that is N-butanol, propranol, ethanol, methanol, isopropranol, uh, or uh, other than that of alcohol like acetone, chloroform, ethyl acetate can be utilized to isolate the semipolar constituents. And non-polar constituents like the lipids, steroids or few of the alkaloids or few of the flavonoids or a glycon parts of the glycosides, then uh, benzene, toluene, n-hexane, uh, various ethers like the petroleum ether 40, 60, 60, 80 or solvent ether can be utilized. Uh, generally, the choice of the solvent as per the ancient text or traditional text of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani is only for uh, three, four solvents like that alcohol and water or combination of water and alcohol which is called as a hydroalcoholic or even cow urine, cow uh, milk are also uh, mentioned as a solvent in this uh, text for the extraction, extract preparation of the uh, specific uh, type of the drugs. And then next prerequisite, it is the choice of the method. So there are two types of the method that is a conventional extraction method and the modern extraction method. Maceration, decoction, infusion, percolation, counter current extraction. These are the conventional extraction methods. While uh, microwave, sonication, uh, supercritical fluid extraction, phytonics, solid phase extraction these are the modern methods of extraction so depending upon the raw material depending upon the quantity of the raw material then the desired chemical constituents or availability um, then market value whether it is import or export so depending upon that the choice of the method can be done so first method we will learn uh, from the conventional extraction method that is a maceration maceration is the most simple type of the extraction method here you can see that uh, in a conical flask the different uh, plant materials are uh, soaked so maceration uh, literally means soaking soaking of the plant material either fresh or dried in the specific solvents and uh, as per Indian Pharmacopoeia 1966, it should be for seven days with the intermittent shaking or stirring. And after seven days, it need to be uh, filtered and evaporated 
uh, if required uh, as it is macerated extract can be utilized or further if it is needed in a dry form then it is evaporated to the dryness for evaporation direct heating or uh, rotatory evaporator heating or for thermolabile substances freeze drying or lyophilization it is utilized for thermostable substances the very modern uh, very good method is mentioned that is the spray drying so uh, there is a lot demand of the dried extract in a market because of the stability and because of incorporation into the uh, various doses forms or various uh, marketed products like the cosmetics food nutraceuticals agriculture or pharmaceutical products so dried extracts are more in demand that is in a powder form so maceration is very simple uh, it is uh, um, easily perform at a laboratory level as well as at industry level it is very feasible type but the major disadvantage is that it is not give it is a doesn't gives the exhaustive extraction of the desired chemical constituent then it requires a lot of solvent then it requires a I means it is a time consuming process but it is a mild process it is a, a mostly a preferred method by the ayurveda siddha yunani Uh, for extraction of the uh, desired fatty chemicals then next it is the decoction uh, which is actually uh, restricted to the solvent water and it is literally a boiling uh, of the plant material in a solvent water and thus water is polar in nature so most of the chemical constituents that are extracted that are only uh, polar in nature in the decoction next it is the infusion where warm solvents are utilized and uh, not exactly boiling but uh, warm in a um, 40 50 degree celsius these uh, extracts are prepared then uh, infusions are generally utilized in aromatherapy or like that uh, next it is the percolation in percolation the specially designed apparatus is utilized which is called as a percolate uh, percolator and this percolation means i pass through means the solvent pass through the plant powder plant material either fresh or dry plant material that is need to be packed into the percolator then solvent uh, then soak this plant material in a solvent for 4 hour and after 4 hour pour, pour the solvent and when it will start drop out from the percolator then collect the extract and continuously add the solvent um, as per the uh, desired extract requirement and the chemical constituent uh, isolation this is the uh, again the most preferred method after the maceration um, then its modifications are available that is a hot continuous percolation or soxlet extraction where again the specially designed apparatus which is called as a soxlet apparatus it is utilized here there is a rbf that is a round bottom flask and this is the thimble or the extractor and this is the condenser in a rbf uh, um, solvent is uh, extraction solvent is to be added in case of the thimble the powder material or dry material or fresh material is to be packed Uh, through the heating mantle when we start the heating of the solvent the vapors pass through the side tube to the uh, extractor or thimble and then uh, it starts soaking of the plant material after one two hours depending upon the volatile nature of the solvent the layer of the solvent in the plant material and in a one small siphon tube matches and then as per the law of gravity and law of equilibrium it gets uh, um, uh, Uh, again uh, into the means along with the phytochemicals the extracts return back to the rbf and then again through in a rbf uh, due to the heating only the pure solvent from the side tube again starts uh, dropping out into the plant material and it starts soaking that is uh, maceration and then start percolating through the siphon tube so it is uh, actually hot continuous percolation is the intermittent maceration and percolation and it gives the uh, it allows the recycling of the solvent uh, which uh, which makes that with a minimum solvent maximum phytochemical extraction is possible by this uh, soxlet uh, extractor in uh, for laboratory scale uh, scale um, extraction this apparatus is available in a glass material while at industry level it is available in the uh, good quality high uh, uh, quality stainless steel material so uh, both maceration or uh, percolation can be utilized at commercial level also 
and uh, maceration is also having the modification like the kinetic maceration means with the shaking or uh, remaceration where the plant material is divided into four or five parts and then um, uh, separately macerated and then mixed together so that uh, exhaustive um, uh, extraction of the phytochemicals is possible next it is the uh, counter current extraction so counter current extraction is again by the specially designed apparatus that is by the craig's tubes the craig scientists designed these tubes here you can see that this is for the liquid liquid extraction this maceration decoction infusion percolation are solid liquid extraction but counter current extraction is suitable for the liquid liquid extraction where immiscible solvents like the water chloroform water enhexane water toluene or water petroleum ether are utilized this um, uh, type of the immiscible solvents uh, when put into the craig's tubes and tilted to the 90 degree they are mixed uh, in such a way that the uh, sol uh, chemical constituents that are miscible in a solvent a uh, uh, are transferred to the solvent a and that are miscible to the solvent b are they are that chemicals are transferred to the solvent b and with the line of a successive line of the thousands of the craig's tubes gives us the um, separation from the large quantity of the um, extract in between these two solvents and further these two solvents can be separated and evaporated to dryness to get the different uh, type of the phytochemicals so thus uh, this maceration decoction infusion percolation or counter current extraction methods are commonly utilized and very helpful uh, for the preparation of the herbal plant materials so a modern extraction methods that is a microwave sonication supercritical fluid extraction solid phase extraction or uh, phytonics under that microwave extraction method which utilizes the microwave waves here you can see in a picture that uh, this is uh, not exactly like the domestic or kitchen microwave it is uh, uh, specially designed microwave oven for the plant material extraction the uh, apparatus is um, put into this microwave oven and here you can see that uh, the plant material in particular solvent with the irradiation of the microwave causes the fast rupturing of the cell wall and dissolving the desired chemical constituents into that solvent the major disadvantage of the microwave extraction is that it is ca it cannot be scaled up or it cannot be uh, commercialized and the uh, major advantage of microwave extraction is that it is very fast uh, extraction within 5 to 10 minutes it gives the uh, phytochemical uh, quantity equivalent to that of 6 to 8 hours of the soxalate extraction next it is the sonication where sound waves are utilized here you can see that a rod and this is the beaker in which the uh, plant material and the solvent is added and when sound waves are generated there is a rupturing of the cell wall and dissolving of the chemical constituents into the solvent next it is the supercritical fluid extraction here you can see that uh, the uh, there is a critical point means at which the solid liquid and gaseous phase exist in equal quantity but above the critical point the gaseous phase converts to the fluid and fluid has the great penetration power uh, to the plant material um, then this uh, co2 uh, means from the co2 cylinder where it is uh, uh, temperature and pressure is adjusted it is converted to the fluid and when the fluid passes through the plant material it ruptures the cell wall and along with the co2 fluid there is extraction of the desired phytochemical constituents it is then uh, filtered and then uh, the temperature pressure is again adjusted so that the co2 fluid is converted to the co2 gas so here there is a only a specific uh, phytochemical in a dried form so this is a really wonderful method of extraction of the phytochemicals in a dry form without the any solvent uh, residue so this is a, a costly method for commercial uh, scale up that is 1 crore or about that its uh, uh, instrument is available but it is worth because the extracts can be obtain in the powder form and powder extracts can be easily uh, incorporated into the various uh, doses forms 
next it is the solid phase extraction in that no solvent is utilized and some on inert material the uh, plant material uh, swirls or its juice is added and with the vacuum it is allowed to get separated as per the affinity next it is the phytonics phytonics is the newer type of the extraction method uh, which is actually a patented technology Uh, that is from the one of the company uh, that is advanced phytonics limited uh, that is manchester uk and uh, this uh, phytonics process or which is also called as the flora sol extraction that is a flora sol extraction and the extracts obtained from this method are referred as a phytols so phytols uh, it is a, a describes the group of chemicals that are derived from the non chlorinated fluorohydrocarbons and the core of the solvent is that is the uh, hydrofluorocarbon 13134a so uh, this is the uh, uh, this is also called as fluorasol means this uh, hydrofluorocarbon 134a is also called as a fluorasol and this uh, uh, solvent is utilized for the extraction of the phytochemicals because as per the ICH guidelines or as per the various regional or international guidelines it is necessary that there must not be the presence of any uh, solvent uh, um, which is carcinogenic or which is harmful to the human health so um, from the solvent residue point of view uh, this phytonics method is uh, uh, more useful or more uh, preferred because uh, we can get the various volatile oils or biologically important phytochemicals directly in a uh, dry form without any solvent residue um, or very very uh, less uh, solvent residue uh, which is harmless um, then uh, there is a no uh, scope for the escape of the solvents because here you can see that it is completely in a closed vessel then this process is more gentle uh, there is a no role of a temperature uh, then this process is carried out entirely at a neutral ph so there is a no uh, damage or oxidation it is not threatening to the environment because it is not emitting any type of the uh, gas or any type of the material into the air then um, this solvent uh, uh, that is this hydrofluorocarbons are used uh, in this technique are not flammable or toxic uh, or ozone depleting these are recycled uh, the sil uh, the solvent is neither acidic or basic so there is a minimum potential reaction with the botanicals and unlike this uh, supercritical that is a co2 extraction method phytosols do not form the acid when exposed to the water so this is the advantage over the scf otherwise both methods are uh, very similar because it is supercritical fluid extraction is utilizing co2 as a uh, co2 fluid as a solvent while phytonics utilizing the hydrofluorocarbon 134 Uh, a and its various derivatives as a solvent so uh, previously also we have learned the various types of the extracts that is a standardized extracts where there is a declared content of the active constituents with therapeutic effects or quantified extracts where there is a defined range of the constituents for the therapeutic effects then other type of the extracts that is a Uh, drug extract ratio or genuine native herbal preparations that are without the excipients or the uh, soft extracts which are semi solid extract dry extracts which are solid preparations then liquid extracts which are liquid in nature tinctures which are the liquid preparations uh, where the um, means one part of the herbal drug and 10 parts of the extraction solvent is uh, present and depending upon the physical state they are actually liquid extract dry extracts or the soft extracts the difference between the fluid extract and tincture is that tinctures are diluted preparations and these extracts are available in the powder form or liquid form or in oil form and they are obtained from the various uh, uh, organized or unorganized parts of the uh, plant materials that i have discussed with you that is either uh, stem root fruits flower seeds bark or uh, exudates uh, resins latex gums or mucilages and they can be obtained throughout the world 
and uh, these are utilized in various uh, industries like uh, food nutraceutical cosmetics uh, ayush uh, industries or uh, pharmaceutical industries and its market is continuously increasing so uh, learners have to taken into consideration the idea of uh, uh, startups related to the uh, herbal extract preparations thank you to all learners uh, we have learned the production of the medicinal plant extracts by the conventional and modern uh, extraction methods and further uh, in next lecture we will learn about the uh, different value additions of the plant materials